There's been a steady flow of taxis leaving the Ivorian embassy in Tunis over the last few days. And most of their passengers all share the same goal, repatriation. Many say they no longer feel safe in Tunisia. At the moment, the situation is that we are being asked to leave Tunisia. We are worried because every day there are attacks against our fellow compatriots. Landlords are kicking us out. We are beaten and mistreated. For more security, we prefer to come to our embassy to register to return to Ivory Coast. Many illegal African migrants from the Ivory Coast, Cameroon, Ghana and Guinea come to Tunisia to work badly paid informal jobs in an attempt to one day reach Italy. But over the last few weeks, their circumstances have changed. There's been a wave of arrests amongst black African migrants. On Tuesday, President Kaya Saeed told his security forces to stop all illegal migration, accusing them of being a part of a wider plot to change the country's demographics. Critics have accused the president of being openly racist and migrant associations say he's promoting a climate of fear. The words of the statement really triggered a psychosis within the community. The sub-Saharan community felt abandoned. It felt like a mob simply because of the hate speech that has been circulating on social media for a long time. The president has denied his speech was racist, but many remain unconvinced. Hundreds of people took to the streets to protest the new measures. The African Union has urged Saeed to avoid racialized hate speech. But for a country that prides itself on being welcoming to foreigners, there's no doubt life is getting harder for black Africans in Tunisia. Daniel Padwick, TRT World.